Hey guys. Just gonna wait for a moment. Hello guys. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for a minute for everybody to get in here. I think I'm finally getting this thing figured out. <laughs> Oh, well, it's been quite a day. Um, not really sure where to start. I really wanted to get up on stage before everything happened here and, and send a message out, but I think um, I can do it here and it'll probably even reach more people. This has been a crazy ride, a really crazy ride. And uh, I think in one of my first videos I said how proud I was of all of you. <laughs> so proud of you. You have come together in a way that I've never seen before. I uh, just wanted to come on again and say first of all thank you second of all to say please keep that love in your heart don't give in you know it's been an incredible experience here and uh, there's been a lot of joy and a lot of happiness and so the tears that I cry aren't tears of sadness. They are tears that what has happened and what is transpiring against my fellow Canadians breaks my heart. It is breaking my heart. <laughs> you guys, I just want you to stay strong. And I want you to continue to be unified and spread the love, you know. I have to ask you, I've seen people right, well, maybe not rightfully so. I, I can't tell you what to do, but you know, when you see the reporters in the streets, be kind and show them love. We don't have to agree with what they're doing. But it upsets me when I see people upset with them. Even though after all they've done, I know, I know it's frustrating. But we still have to have love in our hearts. Please show respect to them, show respect to our police officers. A lot of these men and women, although I know it's not an excuse, are probably just trying to feed their families. I said it from the start and I'll say it again, please pray for them and forgive them for they know not what they do. At least I have to believe that. And I know there's a lot of anger at our government. There's a lot of rightful anger at our government. But I want you to know that Justin Trudeau has three beautiful children. So remember that. We don't have to like what he does. 
but I'm going to ask you to pray for him too. And I'm going to ask you, when you fly a fuck Trudeau sign, that he has three kids, just like me. I pray that you all find forgiveness in your hearts. And I pray that you all find love, even when we don't understand it. Because there's lots of things that I don't understand. There's a pretty good chance. Well, I think it's inevitable at this point. But uh, I'll probably be going somewhere tomorrow where I'll be getting three square meals a day. <laughs> and that's okay. I, um, I'm okay with that. And I want you to know that I'm not afraid. I'll probably get some sleep finally. <laughs> Just please stay peaceful and please take care of each other and know that this too shall pass. And I'm not sure if you remember, but I posted a video a few weeks ago, feels like forever ago, <laughs> about tomorrow and there will be a tomorrow and we will get through this. You have to understand that there's a lot of things at work here that need to prevent this from being a success. And the only way that this is going to succeed is if we always come from a place of love. I've always said, as human beings, we make choices from one of two places. We make choices from love or we make choices from fear. That's it. That's the bottom line. And I pray and I hope that you will make your choices from love. You have to know that they are trying to provoke us. I mean, you hear their language. You hear the language and the verbiage that they're using, and that is not coming from us. And I know you guys all know that. But we can only win this with love, and we can only win this together and it's time to stand together. If you can come to Ottawa and stand with us, that would be fantastic. And if you can't, pray for us. I know you are. I just want you to know that this is my hill and the hill of so many brave men and women. I can't tell you how amazing these people are. And they're gonna stay and they're gonna fight for your freedom as long as they possibly can. The road captains that I've just had the honor of spending so much time with have become my family and my trusted friends. And I know we're going to have summer vacations together <laughs> and we're going to have Christmas together. And I can't wait. I'm staying strong, Poncho. I know I'm crying, but 
It's not tears of sadness. It's definitely not tears of fright. <laughs> like I said, I'm just so damn proud of all of you. <laughs> Every single one of you. Not just in Canada, but all around the world. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew that this was going to take off in this way? So please, try not to be angry. Keep love in your heart. Stay strong. Stay unified. And stay proud. Because we are so proud of you. The love we have felt in the last 19 days, well, before then actually, I guess we left on the 24th, like I said, it feels like a, it's been a year, all across this country, <laughs> was the likes of nothing I have ever seen before. And that was you guys. That was all you. So, I'm going to sign off, and for now anyways, don't you worry, I'll be back. I want you to keep fighting the good fight, and I want you to look out for each other, and I want you to have each other's backs. I think you're all amazing. And I hope one day that all the people that are here on the ground that have worked so hard they're all heroes man all of them the stuff that you don't see in your videos and the stuff that is behind the scenes there's too many people to mention but they are all here for you they're here for you so Tomorrow is a new day, and I'm ready. I am not afraid, and we're going to hold the line. Thank you. I love you guys. See you soon.